IFTTT stands for If This Then That. And basically it is a website that ties a lot of your smart home devices together. Typically things that don't talk to each other. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to up your security game for your smart home and utilize the IFTTT website. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does, and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use IFTTT. And like I mentioned, that stands for if this, then that. And basically how it works is that if this is a trigger, so let's say if this motion sensor is triggered, then that. So we're gonna create an action. So if this motion sensor is triggered, then turn on a light bulb. It might sound complicated, but it's actually really easy to do. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's get started. All right, so here is the IFTTT website. Now you're gonna have to create an account to get logged in, but there are so many things you can do with this outside of a smart home. Specifically for today, we're just gonna be talking about security and smart home related things. But just to give you guys an idea, if we scroll down here on the page, you can connect stuff to Uber, you can connect stuff to your Alexa devices and have certain things work with other. Here are some of the big names that work with IFTTT. Scrolling down, you can do things like turn on your porch lights when the pizza is on its way. And you can link this up with your Domino's account and your Philips Hue lights. We've also got things like tweet your Instagrams as native Twitter posts. So you can sync it up with different social media accounts, create an event on your iPhone calendar with your Google Assistant. So different things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get logged in and we're gonna take a look at some of the things that we can do with IFTTT. Okay, so I'm logged in right now. Now there are a few tabs that we can take a look at. So we've got my applets at the top and an applet is essentially you creating a function within the site right here. So we've got our applets here. We can explore different applets that other people have created or we can actually create an applet right here. So I have not actually created any applets. If I click on here, it's gonna show applets that I've used in the past, but none of these I have actually created. So these are the ones that I've used in the past. They're all off right now, but we can click on explore and this is going to allow us to do some research and find, you know, say a program that we use. So for example, let's go ahead and I'm gonna do a search for ADT. So if you've got Blue by ADT, which is a security system, and if I go ahead and click on this, it's going to bring up the ADT company page on the website here. So we can scroll down and it's gonna show us all of the applets that ADT has set up. So these are pre-set up ones that we can use. So we've got things like turn on the lights when there is an alarm. So that's a pretty helpful one right there. If an alarm goes off with your ADT system, this thing can actually turn on all of the smart lights in your house. We've got another one down here, blink your hue lights during an alarm. So if an alarm goes off, you can actually have your lights blinking. So maybe you're not home and you want to scare off or disorient somebody who might be robbing you, you can actually have your lights blinking. We can set an Ecobee, so that's a thermostat, to home or away when the Blue by ADT system is armed or disarmed. So there's a ton of different things that we can do in here, and these are all ones that were set up by ADT. Okay, so here is an Arlo example right here. Anytime an Arlo battery gets low, send a notification. So if I go ahead and click this to turn it on, it's going to connect to my Arlo account. Now, typically what's gonna happen is it's going to pop up and ask you to put in your Arlo credentials. Once you put those in and you authorize the connection, it's gonna connect everything for you, but you do have to put in your credentials for each of the systems you plan on using. Okay, so once everything is connected, we're gonna go ahead and just choose our Arlo camera that we wanna get notified every time the battery is low. Now, I mentioned that you're able to connect to different systems together. So if we take a look at this one right here, this is actually gonna be connecting your Ring cameras and your Arlo cameras together. Ring will arm your Arlo cameras when motion is detected. That is, when motion is detected with a Ring camera, it's automatically going to arm your Arlo cameras. So for say, if for some reason, you either have a mixed environment where you've got a couple different things, they're not all Ring, they're not all Arlo, you wanna mix those together, you can actually link those up through here. We're gonna click connect on that. It's gonna sync up those accounts. Now, another example here we have with Arlo is every time an Arlo motion sensor is triggered, so each camera has a motion sensor inside, every time a motion sensor is triggered, it's gonna turn on your Hue lights. Now this could be good if you have Hue lights, say at your porch, and maybe a camera shooting down at your porch, so anytime somebody walks up to your front porch, it's essentially going to turn on the porch lights 
anytime motion is triggered. So that's a cool little feature right there of you blending two different companies together. Next up, I wanted to show you guys another one. This is gonna be with the Wise brand. If you guys have a lot of cameras inside of your house, you may notice that when you are home, you just get flooded with notification pop-ups on your phone. This is a cool little one right here that is going to turn on notifications when you leave the house. So when you're out and about, nobody's home, you'll get notifications on your phone if it's a text motion. Now, the next one that we have here is the opposite of that. When you arrive back home, it's automatically gonna turn those notifications notifications off for you. This is one that I've actually been using and I really do like. So we would go ahead and just click on connect right here and it would link us up to the sites. From here, we can put in our own home address. Actually, not sure what address this is. This is one that just pre-populated. This must be where the company is. Um, you're gonna put in your own home address. You're gonna set up your ring around your house, which is what this is right here. That's gonna be for your geofencing. So when you leave that circle, it will turn on the notifications. When you come back into that circle, it'll turn off the notifications. So pretty cool right there. You just click on save to set that one up. Now, the next option here is we're gonna be syncing up our WISE system with a CASA system. So CASA is by TP-Link, that's their smart home brand. So we have it here to turn on our CASA, which is going to most likely be a smart switch. So if you've got a TP-Link smart switch, turn that on anytime the WISE system detects motion. So we've got a WISE motion sensor picked up motion and it's actually going to turn on the Casa smart plug in this situation right here. Next one we have here, this is a pretty cool one right here. This is something that is going to actually sync up your robot vacuum to a location service. So you can turn on a location service. Now to get this to work, you actually have to load up the IFTTT app on your phone and enable it there. So that way it's going to track your phone. So when your phone leaves an area or comes back into an area, it's gonna set up that location there. It's a good way to set up geofencing for companies and products there that don't have their own geofencing. This is a good way to do it. So this is gonna say, whenever I leave the house, I automatically start my robot vacuum. Cause I don't know about you guys, but for a while I had my robot vacuums going off of a schedule. So like every day at 8.30, go ahead and start vacuuming. But you know, with COVID and not being gone all the time at work and there always being kind of somebody around, it kind of got annoying. So I didn't do that all the time, but I love this is that when I leave the house, it can go ahead and start the vacuum cleaner. So I'm not there and I don't have to listen to it. Now, another cool one for the iRobot one here is that when I answer a phone call, pause my robot vacuum. So that way I don't have to listen to it. Now, unfortunately, this one is only going to work with Android devices. This does not work with iPhone, uh, which is a big bummer here. So this is not one that I personally use, but I love this feature right here. Now, the next one I wanted to show you guys is that when somebody rings the doorbell, you can pause the vacuum. Now this isn't going to work for every vacuum. So we've got iRobot is one that is integrated into the platform here. Another one, Neato. So the Neato brand vacuums are on here too. But if you look for other ones, they might not be on here. So go ahead and make sure you search through the site to set one of these up. So now if I wanna go ahead and create my own applet, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go back to the IFTTT homepage here. We're gonna click on create up in the top corner. So we're gonna have these options right here. If this, let's go ahead and put in ring. We're gonna select ring and we're gonna say when somebody pushes the front door, we're gonna select our camera right here, ring front door, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and create that trigger. Then what do I want to happen? So I'm gonna click on add. I'm gonna go to Philips Hue and I'm gonna say, go ahead and blink the lights. So somebody pushes my doorbell, it's going to flash the lights. Now, which lights do I wanna use? You know, I've got a ton of different options here with Philips Hue. I believe the one here in my office, that is going to be lamp number four. So we're gonna go ahead and create that action. So that is good. We're gonna click on continue, finish that up, and boom, we've created our own applet. So if you can't find one that is already pre-made or if you wanna customize it a little bit more, you can go ahead and create your own. Now, the problem with IFTTT is just recently they created a pro version of IFTTT. It used to be you could have as many applets as you wanted. Since they've come out with their pro version, you now have to pay if you want more than three applets. Now that is three applets that you have personally created. You can use as many applets that are out there. So when we were going through and I was looking at all those different options of ones that other people created, I can use as many as those as I want. But if I want to create my own custom to me, I can only do three unless I want to pay for more. So if we take a look at the site here and if I go to plans, we've got a bunch of different plans here. We've got this standard free version. And then if you want the pro version, that is going to be $3.33 a month. And that is going to give you unlimited applet creation. So do keep that in mind. Personally with IFTTT, this is something that I use as a last resort. I try to use either Amazon or Google or the native app that comes with the program to see if I can get any kind of integration in that way. 
And if I can't, then for me, IFTTT is a good last resort. And the reason I say that is because it seems like with IFTTT, there are a lot of companies that are constantly going in and out of this system. Google and Nest used to be a part of the system. They are no longer a part of the system here. So if you had anything set up with Google, it's now gone. It's not available anymore. So I would not rely too heavily on IFTTT, but this is a good option if you guys are stuck and you need something set up and whether it's smart home or social media or just anything that you want, there are a lot of things that you can do with this program. I hope you guys got some value out of going over this site and what it can do. If so, let me know in the comments below some of the applets that you have set up. Have you used IFTTT before or is this brand new? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys wanna know anything more about smart home security type products, take a look at the link below to reviews.org. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video.